Hello everyone, Philip Johnson, patient coordinator here at Spinago Wellness. We're glad that you're joining us here today, and we have a very excited young man with us. Um, why don't you tell us your first name? Eric. And Eric, where are you from? Pennsylvania. Is there any Lyme in Pennsylvania? A lot. <laughs> and we get a lot of calls from Pennsylvania folks, great people, uh, but there's some bugs up there that are hurting some folks. Yes. And, uh, so that's what brought you to us. But before we get into that, um, just take a minute, if you can, to tell your story. Um, have you been sick for long? How far back did this start? What some of your chief complaints were before you ever came here? So let's do that. Um, ever since I can remember, even as a young teenager, I had pain in my legs and lower back from standing and so forth. Um, over the years, it's just gradually gotten worse, and the last 15 years have been the worst, especially the last five. It's just been... It's life-altering. I every muscle in my body hurts from my head to my toes, 24/7. Okay. I never get relief. Okay. Um, so it just gra you know it gradually got worse and worse. I've been to dozens of doctors. I've done all kinds of herbal and alternative treatments. Nothing has ever made a slight difference in the way I feel. And all these trips to the doctor, you were going in complaining of the muscle pain. Yes. Was that, was that yes, always the, your chief complaint? That was my chief complaint. Okay. So I would just imagine they probably just tried to give you medicine of some sort, medication. Is that what happened? Yes. Unfortunately, they just wanted to treat the symptoms. They didn't want to find the root of the problem. A lot of people that may watch this go through that mm -hmm. on a month-to-month -month basis. They go to see their primary care doctor or a doctor and often... Lyme disease, misunderstood mm -hmm. um, and mistreated. Yes. Um, and so the pain just goes on. It just goes on. Discouragement, depression, anxiety oh, yeah. that comes out of all of that. Did yes. You, have you experienced anything? I've I mean, experienced all of it because, especially the last two years since I was diagnosed with the Lyme, um, I haven't, haven't been able to work. I haven't been able to provide for my family. I feel like a burden to my family. And I know they love you, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. This robs you of your livelihood. It's you. It's the silent victim, so to speak. You, you're yes. misunderstood. No one knows what's wrong with you, and yet it just steals. One of the biggest issues is everybody says you look fine. You look fine. Anyone that's watching this that has Lyme disease has probably heard that said to them a hundred oh, yeah. times. Um, whether from a family member, an unsupportive spouse. Uh, a doctor, you know, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? You look fine. Exactly. And it doesn't help. <laughs> no, no it doesn't. So you've been to, what'd you say, dozens of doctors? Dozens of doctors. Okay. All, uh, three different states, and all kinds of different, from all kinds of different realms from, you know, I've had infectious disease doctors mm -hmm. at, at, a, at a clinic I went to, told me I didn't, that 
the symptoms I was explaining to her wasn't related to Lyme. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about more of those symptoms in just a moment here. So you've had a lifetime. You've had a yeah. lifetime of suffering. How old are you now? 38. 38 years old. Okay. Well, um, you found us yes. and um, came in here. You've only been here. This is your fifth day fifth, yeah. that you've been here. So we did proprietary testing on you before you ever got in here. We do that with all of our patients. Mm -hmm. You're at home. We want you to try to get these test results, uh, these tests done before you ever leave home mm -hmm. so that we have all that waiting for you when you walk through our doors and we're able to start treating. Um, I know. We were just talking about this. I just looked at your medical chart to uh, see what uh, we were facing when you come in here. And you can... Uh, you know, embellish this or uh, tell us more about it, but um, the numbers proved that you had, uh, you know, you got, you have Lyme, you have the co-infections that come along with that, uh, Bartonella, Babesia, um, Protozoa, Rheumatica. Um, these are all vector-borne parasites, mm -hmm. many of them that come with that tick or through mosquitoes. Um, you had gut issues. Mm -hmm. uh, 99% of our patients are going to have gut issues, uh, if for no other reason, because they've been on antibiotics. Yep. And long term antibiotics. Long -term. And those toxins, uh, they don't just stay in your gut. They're mm -hmm. going to go to your head, and they're going to cause all kinds of problems in your body. And then you had mold, and I think that was a surprise to you. Oh yeah, you definitely. Know? Never. Out of all the many, 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 many blood tests that I've had done, very extensive, genetic, all that. Nobody ever looked for mold. Um, fifteen times your mold count of just trichothecine was fifteen times higher than the government uh, standard. I guess we would, that's probably not the correct way of saying it, but fifteen right. times higher. Mm -hmm. um, and mold is a big issue. So when you find all of this out, and this is what our proprietary testing does, mm -hmm. we are able to put the pieces together and say, Eric, here's why. Here's why you're hurting. Here's why your body's suffering. Here's, here's the toxins that are going to cause all of this to happen. And here's what causes the brain fog and the short-term memory loss and some of the anxiety and all of these things that go along with it. So you're five days. There's no one, there's not a medical facility anywhere that would expect that would promise results or expect results after a lifetime of sickness that five days so no I I didn't believe it was gonna happen so tell us what's going on here you were very excited uh, yeah my, you know Monday morning I started and I you know had my usual pain and stuff and uh, I followed your what you guys told me to do with protocol, the, supplements. the protocol the supplements mm -hmm. and some some medications because it was needed mm -hmm. and I started a uh, you know the IV treatment first mm -hmm. day um, and Tuesday I woke up and I didn't hurt okay wow well first of all I, I should, sorry I take that back I 10 maybe 20 let's say 20 percent is what I feel of my 98 97 percent wow. pain that I had. Well first of all I know you and I I'm feeling what you're feeling right now. I don't know where to thank the Lord shout hallelujah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you know? And you know what I want to include I want this to be known to uh, when I, ha I was fortunate enough to have my first meeting with Dr. Spinagle. I said maybe 15 words out of the whole time I was in there and he called me by explaining by the test and what, you know what he's seen in the blood and everything it described every single issue that I had I wasn't the only there. the only thing I added that was that I had pain when I was younger right. and he couldn't believe nobody addressed it then I wasn't there when this meeting took place but I've seen dr. Spinagle do this he probably never even opened up your medical chart initially he no, probably just somebody started, picked off he, right right he just was able start. to start diagnosing um, uh, genetics how your brain worked mm -hmm. um, from A to Z from A to Z he, he he tagged every part of me and this is part of the healing here mm -hmm. because in essence the man that you needed to be what God created you has been held hostage 
by not only these toxins, uh, some of the things that you know that have just hindered you in life, and that guy's always been there. <laughs> yeah, and I it think we've seen it coming out that. this week. Oh yeah, this this week has been life changing. That's the only way I can explain it. He and came into my office yesterday, I believe. Yes, and said something like, "I haven't felt like this." Yeah, I haven't felt like I I don't remember feeling like this. Feeling well, feeling this good. I don't rem I don't know what. Well, I'm getting a glimpse of it now, but I didn't know what normal was. It had been so long that I just forgot. Well, it's phrases like that that people watching this are understanding. They've been fighting to be in the moment for years. They fight to exist every day, to struggle, to have a family, to go to work, to just get out of bed. And what you're saying explains all of that. I want to include one more thing too. I lost, I had lost all hope. I honestly did. And I honestly came here not expecting anything. I, I, thought I, was, I was expecting you guys to help me get better, but this was not what I was expecting at all. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, we're just grateful. We're grateful. It's a privilege to have you here, and you're lighting this place up. And oh, I want to set it on a fire. And we're just Go. getting started with you. We're just getting started. I know. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking five days, and I still have a long way to go. I know I'm gonna go have ups and downs and yep. bad days, but you guys are gonna do the best. And he said this, Doctor Spinal said this the other day. I'm gonna do my best to get you as well, fast. Yeah. And five days into it. It's already going. That's what we try to do. Um, people that come to us, they're living, well, they're not home. They've had to come here. They're living in out of a suitcase. They're in an apartment. They're in a hotel mm -hmm. room. Um, again, this is why we do our testing before you even arrive. No one wants to sit around here waiting on a test result to come in for two weeks. Right. We get all that done, and so we do try to move as rapid as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. However, uh, and everyone watching this needs to understand, um, we're very, very good at what we do. Oh yeah, and I vouch for that. For killing the bugs, detoxification of mold and so on and so forth. But everybody's different genetically. Mm -hmm. The volume of their sickness is different. Um, the type of sicknesses they have, what their immune system is like when they come in. Right. How, how messed up are they physically? And some of this is being done by antibiotic treatments and so on and so forth. So everyone's a little different on how long it's going to take you know, to get everything cleaned up. But, um, we're going to be killing bugs in you and getting them out. Good. And, uh, good. I can't I know. wait. <laughs> and kill them. <laughs> kill them. Get them out of me. <laughs> we got to come up with some rap song or something about <laughs> killing bugs. <Yeah. laughs> Anyhow, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Eric's going to be a patient here. We'll be showing some more video of him uh, later. And uh, I'm Pastor Philip Johnson, patient coordinator here at Dr. Spinagles, uh, where we're trying to reach out to help people with very complicated illnesses and sicknesses. Dr. Crozier, Dr. Spinagle, our staff, um, certainly wish the best to you and check out our website and uh, if we can help you give us a call. You can ask for me or one of my other patient coordinators. We'll be glad to talk about this with you. I'd like to add one thing. Don't lose hope. I did. Don't make that mistake.